All right, Lindsay, good to see you again. Miss Suggs, hey. it's good to see good you again. Good to see you. And we're going to get uh, Miss Lindsay here signed up for her junior year. Uh, but first, a couple things that I know we've already talked about this before, um, but it's good to review. And first is our course description guide. So this is for you to keep. Okay. And in there, it goes over several things. It describes all of our offerings here at uh, Banks County High School. Also reminds you of what she'll need to graduate. She has to have 23 units. Uh, if you're as you're choosing uh, what classes to take, it gives a brief synopsis of those classes. Again, that's and I may refer to that at some point during this advisement session. Okay. Uh, the second thing here is a compulsory attendance is by state law. Uh, any student under the age of 16 must come to school. If they accumulate 10 unexcused absences, then you could face um, uh, trouble with the law. Okay. Um, so you know, make sure you come to school. And you're a great student, you have before, but uh, just remember that. Uh, number three, it talks about the, again, this is in our guide here, what it takes to graduate uh, Banks County High School. She's gonna need X number of math, so, uh, X number of social studies, et cetera, that we wanna talk about. Okay. We also like for everybody to get in a pathway. And is, what pathway are you the, pushing towards? The um, technology pathway. Gotcha, okay, so Ms. Jackson, mm -hmm. through there, okay. So that's a great choice, and we'll get you uh, into that as we go forward here and see what uh, prerequisites you've taken. Uh, again, as we'll just kind of get through here and then get to the good stuff, number four says that uh, foreign language is not necessary to graduate high school. Now, have you taken Spanish one yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have. So you're well on your way. Um, you have to have two years to get accepted in the university system. So if, if you don't have two years of foreign language, though, you could still graduate, you, uh, which is not going to be an issue because she's she seems to be well on her way. Just to mm -hmm. remind you of that. This number five is a long bullet. It talks about the Hope Scholarship. Um, and there's a lot to read here. And I wanna, and of course this is, I can make a copy for you. This is www.georgiafutures.org. It summarizes all of what this is, but there are incentives for maintaining a high GPA. The Zell Miller Scholarship is an example. 3.7 or higher with a sufficiently high SAT score. Have you taken SAT yet? Mm -hmm. have, you have, a, have you made a 1200? No. All right, we'll, we'll get you there, we'll get you there. But even now, the, the Zell Miller is a little more ambitious than Hope. Hope itself requires, as you can see, a um, 3.0 GPA in, in high school, and it doesn't pay as much as Zell Miller does, but uh, we just want to remind you that, that every class, is, you're already well on your way, your freshman year, your sophomore year, just maintain that GPA, and there's other things that it mentions here. You play any kind of sports? No. Oh, okay, this, this will apply then, but no pass, no pers uh, participate. This is NCAA, you have to pass so many classes and you have a really good GPA, so that's, if you do decide to take up sports, yeah, you're in good shape. Now, post-secondary credit, are you interested as a rising junior to uh, attend, get college credit and high school credit at the same time? Possibly. Something? Okay, and there's a meeting for it. Now, what we're gonna do today is go ahead and get you signed up for everything, even if you do go to post-secondary, just in case it doesn't work out. But I just wanted to mention that's a great opportunity for you, save time, save money. Um, and I've got a brochure in here that we'll give to you. Thanks. All right, going along here. Number eight, the, okay, this is gonna be when we get signed up. If you disagree with what the teacher, I'm gonna look up on my computer, what the teacher requested for mm -hmm. Lindsay. If you think that, no, she needs to be in honors or no, she needs to be in regular, we'll just need you to sign that that you went across the, against the teacher's recommendation. If you do decide to take honors, then there's a contract you have to sign that honors classes and AP courses are generally uh, gonna be more rigorous, mm -hmm. probably more time inclusive. Um, you get three and 10 points uh, respectively for that, but there's a price to pay is more work, but the purpose of it is to get you prepared for college. Mm -hmm. um, then we get through some of these last ones. Well, I'll tell you, we'll go, and get, we'll go ahead and get uh, her signed up for her classes here. And this just more or less says that you agree or that you understand that what we're signing up for is pushing her, that it's filling up all these uh, bullets that we have here, all the classes mm -hmm. that she's taken at times past. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and look and see what you have here. So your recommendations, I wrote those down. You are recommended for Spanish 2, regular Spanish 2. So is that something that, I can get you signed up here. You get one, I get one. Uh -huh. All right, so we're going, if you're okay with it, <clears throat> We're going to get you in Spanish 2A. Yes. So. Definitely. That's what you've been recommending for. So 
Let me give you a highlighter. I'll circle here, and we're going to each get a copy of this. So Spanish 2A, I'm going to circle that. What is Spanish 2A? It's going to be right in this oh, upper block here. 2A. All right, and her Algebra 2 teacher says that Lindsay needs to go to pre-cal honors. Okay. So how'd you do an honors Algebra 2? It's like your grades 98. So did you want to keep up, keep going with? Yes, definitely. Okay. Yes. So pre-cal honors, again, you have to sign the honors contract. Okay. But it's uh, going to be A and B down here. These right, two. There you go. Two. So we'll go ahead and get, get those circled up. All right. For her science, just regular chemistry. I got a pretty okay. good grade. Do you just not like science as much? No, not as much, but do you want to do honors science or do you want to keep the regular science? Um, so it's up to you. We can keep, we can just She do doesn't regular. have to do honors all the way across the board, no, does she? No, she does. It's, it's up to, a lot of times, especially when she gets into other activities, it's, you have to consider the time. And she's already in honors math. Okay. And we'll check her lit in a minute, but okay. um, it's all so depends just, on you know, yeah, your let's preferences. Yeah, let's just do regular. Go regular, okay? So we'll go to chemistry. And I want to point out with chemistry, the same thing is going to be true with lit. There's a little one there. Mm -hmm. That means that it's a block class. All right, so you'll have it one semester or the other. You're not going to have it both. Unlike math and social studies, which are uh, year round, and Spanish, same things year round. The chemistry is just the one. Okay. Questions so far? No. That's making sense to you? Okay. Yeah. All right, now, here's the big one. They, they have you, you took AP World History. Um, do you want to do AP U.S. History? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure. It was really hard, so I don't know if I should. Are, do you feel like you're really good in history? Is that one of your strong, what's your strongest classes? It would probably be um, lit and math. So Math, okay. Those are the strongest. So. You know, AP is even more inclusive. As you know, well, no, you've just taken AP World History. And you're uh, about to take your AP exam. Won't get your grades back till mm -hmm. July, probably. Um, tough decision. I want to remind you that you know, this is not, whatever you sign up for today is not set in stone. You can always change your mind. So if you just go one way or the other, yeah, just we can easily change it okay. if need be. So which way are you leaning right now? Regular or? Yeah, maybe regular. Okay, now that will be, if you decide on either one, it's going to be a year-long course. So we'll circle U.S. History A and U.S. History B. Okay. All right, and we're missing Lit. Lit, you have been recommended for honors as well. You said Lit was in math mm -hmm. is your strong point, so do you want to stay in the honors yeah. program there? Okay. Yeah, because what's, what's that AP language? Isn't that the yeah. next one she would take if she's going to she do could, AP? Yep, she could do that. AP language, just AP language, AP Lit. The two APs are uh, your junior, senior year in literature. Okay. So absolutely. Now, she is a recommended for honors, but we could talk to maybe send a, a who's your Lit teacher this year? Um, was Miss Holt? Mm -hmm. Miss Holt. Holt. Okay, I can email Miss Holt and see if, what she thinks about AP. Is now you know the AP program through your world history. So is your are you uh, strong enough in AP? You feel like that's you really want to put that time into it? To well, since it's lit, I'm a little better at that. So I might. She's pretty good at, at writing. Mm -hmm. So I think okay. and, and and reading comprehension and such. So. Was, I think was well, never my strong suit. I'm glad somebody it, did it. <laughs> it was or was not? It was not. I'm, oh, a, ma okay. I'm a math teacher. You're a math so. man. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and try that. And then if Miss Holt, you sure. know, doesn't think she can handle it, then we can go back okay. to the drawing board, I guess. Absolutely. And that fills up your regular courses. And it's you know, pretty intensive with Spanish. That's typical for a junior to take Spanish too. And that's going to leave you with your your uh, electives. So we definitely want to get you through your digital tech. So let's look here and find your pathway. Uh, so it looks like you're ready for, is it web, is it business and technology or is it web and digital design? It was design? the web and digital. Web and digital. Here, yeah. Okay. Web and digital design. So you just yeah. are done with digital design B. So you're ready then for web design A. Just keeps okay. you right. And that would complete your pathway, which is always what we recommend to kind of give you an idea going forward. Right now that kind of opens the door for you. We have only uh, six of your courses signed up for. There's one more. You're, you've done your pathway. Your academics look good. So 
with just whatever's in your interests. Um, and again, just as a reminder, you're so not set another, in stone here. What's another so no class rush. you might be interested in taking? What about the business classes? Okay. So that's, uh, I think Mr. McKinney technology, yeah. teaches those. Did you take intro to business as a freshman? I can't remember. So it's a transcript here. Yes, you did. Okay, she so has, you, she could take the business and technology then? She has not taken business and technology. So okay. that would be the next so one. you want to do that one? Yeah. And, okay. right, so we'll circle. Again, this is a semester course. So we'll circle the A Thank and the B. Them. One one semester, one the other. Okay. All right. Now we also want to do the electives. This is the next best thing. Okay. Uh, just in case, now her being a junior, she'll more than likely get what she wants, but you never know. Sometimes there's a conflict that AP, for example, may be fifth period only, and that might be the only time we have business and technology, for example. So just in case, these three are important as well, because uh, we're going to sign here in a minute that if you put it as an elective and you just, I mean, as an alternate, and you happen to be put in there, then uh, you have to stay. You can't just uh, you know, say, well, that was my alternate. I didn't really want to be in there. So uh, we, do, we do want you to be... There now, a couple things. Uh, you've already had driver's ed, work-based learning, and yearbook. Those are two things that come up with your um, junior year. Okay. So those are things you need applications for. So if you're interested in those, interested. I can give you an application. Uh, yeah, I think yearbook. I'm interested in yearbook and work-based learning. Oh, okay. Well, okay. you know Miss Jackson well because you're in that pathway. So mm -hmm. the yearbook certainly would be a choice. Now, remember, if work-based learning, uh, there's going to be several things you have to do there there's that we can find here so let's look at work-based learning so you see it on there mm. I've got to find work-based learning I can't remember the details there I know there's a couple courses you have to take here at school and then you go out to, to work uh, maybe I, I think did they swap with some one of these yes yeah, what would happen I'm thinking if, that you right just put those down maybe and then mm -hmm. um it would take one of those away it would take one of those away possibly yeah so it's worth it's worth you know putting it down if you're interested we can just have you fill out that application and miss yeah. warren can give you more details yeah. for that so work-based learning for your number one or the year yearbook which yearbook of those two for number one and then yearbook for number one all right so let me write that down yearbook for number one and i'll just put wbl again those are uh, applications and which i'll give you here all right, what's another one? you got to have one more there, it looks like. If you don't get those, what's something else? Could I possibly do health care? Health care, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you're interested in that, uh, have you ever taken the intro? Have um, you taken I, any of um, yeah, this matters I courses? Yeah, I took it my freshman year, just the intro. Intro, though. okay. Yeah. So you liked it enough to want to try to go mm -hmm. to Essentials? All right, we can put that down. Now, there is, I do want to point out that is a semester-only course, so there may be some conflict with the schedule. We can go ahead and put that down. For the essentials for your third okay. and then again the ones and if you as you take this home and look at it and think about it a little more those ones are only semester courses all right so we'll look we'll finish this up and this and just uh, this would fill up per box just to show you here the ap piece here the the pre-cal piece now she's doing pre-cal mm -hmm. as a junior that means she got eighth grade math credit so Correct. this actually would finish her off there and set her up nicely going forward. Science or chemistry, um, and then social studies, U.S. Cis, you have to do econ next year. Already took care of her personal fitness and health, take care of her Spanish for the UGA requirements. Pathway complete, so she's in great shape. Okay. It's a matter of getting 23 units. So right, she's well right. on her way there. Okay. Uh, so you look at the last three here. This is, uh, 10 says we talked about the prerequisites. We talked about kind of the structure. Uh, we looked at her specific graduation plan, and then number 12 says that if she doesn't, um, that if we get August next year and she says, oh, I really, oh, essentials of health care, what was I thinking? You know, she, because she signed up for it, she may be stuck, stuck in there. In so there. Just, to, just to choose carefully for that. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right, so what I'm going to give you here is an honors contract. That's because of the AP course that you're taking, the honors pre-cal. She and had, to, you had to sign one of these last year for your yeah. Um, world yeah, history she right and, for AP world and history and, and math, stuff. right? Okay. Uh, compulsory education. We give you one of those. We had talked about that earlier. Okay. And one we'll need you to do. Let's see if there's anything else for you to get here. Um, some notes for me. This is some of the uh, for me to type them in and and. Um, 
One more thing I do want to mention. I didn't mention this to you. The HOPE rigor. It's part of the HOPE program that, in that bulleted in, in list five. Her pre-cal course is already going to satisfy that, okay. as will, I believe, her Spanish too. Okay. So have her taking these honors courses, she'll be she'll uh, have fulfilled that as well. And probably so her AP courses are probably AP, in yeah, there too. AP, certainly, AP U.S. History. There's a long list that I have here, but I can remember that that um, we'll find those for you. Here's the foreign languages. So her Spanish too takes care of one of those. There it is. Okay. And we also have the pre-cal, which I believe is going to take care of it. There's so many math classes in here. <laughs> I need a, a degree just to look through all these. <laughs> uh, there's pre-cal, right? Okay. And then our AP. So, so we're in good shape there as well. Okay. All right, so honors contract, compulsory attendance, remember the course description guide yours. I will need you to, uh, I'll sign this and get you a copy okay. if you'd like. First sign that, and I will need you to sign one of these. I'll sign the other for you. Okay, keep. and then we'll keep this one. Yes, okay. that works. Okay, awesome. Any other questions you have? No, not now. When uh, she, uh, the year, well, you said the yearbook and the world work-based learning will, once she's approved or not, I guess, approved, they would then figure yeah, they'll, out, they'll get with take away with one you. of the other classes. Right. And, and also, if okay. you uh, do decide to do the move on when ready, mm -hmm. then say you do it in math, it'll just take that math class out. Okay. Uh, and we just have to sign up just in case, just in case. you don't do the move on when ready. Gotcha. And you know, okay. that you, you all attended the meet and everything. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. All right. Okay, awesome. Well, it's well. good to see you again. I know you've been a great student these yeah. two years and <laughs> signed up for a, uh, for a rigorous schedule and just uh, let me know if there's anything to do with you. I'll know my email, so. All right. Well, thank all right. you, Mr. Brown. Good to see you. Good to see you, Lindsay. Good to see you.